your limitation is only your imagination. With this quote, I am Anali Gupta. Welcome you all to Sense Independence. So let's begin with today's latest BuzzFeed. SpiceJet profit up by 22%, 60 planes to join the fleet. SpiceJet net profit rose by 22% to Rs 56.3 crore in the last fourth quarter of the financial year. Gurugram's airline earned a net profit of Rs 46.2 crore in the same quarter last fiscal year. SpiceJet Chief Financial Officer CFO Kiran Koteshwar said that according to the plan, the airline will include 60 aircrafts in the fleet which includes 30 aircraft of Jet Airways which were recently closed. Share market starts sluggish. Sensex opened with a red mark. On the third trading day of the week, the market lost Tuesday's gain and the Sensex dropped by more than 40 points to below 39,750. Similarly, the Nifty also dropped 20 points to 11,920. Tej Pratap asked party men to leave the party if they don't like his brother's leadership. RJD Supremo Lalu Prasad Yadav's elder son Tej Pratap Yadav Tuesday told party men to leave the party if they don't like his younger brother Tejasvi Prasad Yadav's leadership. Mamta Benerji to attend Modi's oath-taking ceremony. Trinamool Congress Chief and West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee arrives in Delhi today to attend the swearing ceremony of Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi on May 30th. Mamata Banerjee said that it is her constitutional duty to attend the ceremony. She will be returning to Kolkata on May 31st. The TMC Chief is also scheduled to call on senior Congress leader and former President Pranam Mukherjee on the morning of May 30th. Naveen Patnaik to become Odisha's Chief Minister for the fifth term. Naveen Patnaik will be sworn in as the Odisha's Chief Minister for the fifth consecutive term today. The team of Naveen Patnaik is likely to be a mix of experienced and new faces. According to the BJD lawmakers who were intimated for their induction reports have said, the swearing-in ceremony of Patnaik is scheduled to be held at the exhibition ground in Bhumneshwar, said the party sources. DU admission may start from June 1st. This time, the entrance examination of DU will be done by the National Testing Agency. Admission-related sources say that the university will now start enrolling from June 1st. Officials of the Delhi University also say that admission will start after this week. Students from all over the country are upset with the continuous late enrollment. All three accused doctors arrested in Dr. Pyle's suicide case. National Women's Commission has also taken cognizance in this matter and issued notice to the hospital. Three accused of the Pyle Tardy suicide case have been arrested in Maharashtra's capital, Mumbai. The arrested accused includes Ankita Lokhandwala, Hema Ahuja and Bhakti Meher. Hema Ahuja was arrested on Tuesday night while Bhakti Meher was arrested from Mumbai Session Court on Tuesday evening. Ankita Khandelwal has been arrested by Mumbai Police on Wednesday morning. Pal Tarvi allegedly committed suicide by being disturbed from ragging and racial comments by her senior colleagues. Both accused were absconding since the doctor's suicide. Tarvi had committed suicide on May 22nd. Kit Harrington opts for psychological help after GOT ends. A source told the camera that the end of GOT really hit Kit hard. He realized that this is it. This is the end. It was something they had all worked so hard on for so many years. He had a moment of what next. His wife Rose is being extremely supportive. Everyone close to him really wanted him to get some rest. Right now he just need peace and quiet. Karan Obroy pleads in the higher court. Lately, the television actor had been taken under police custody under the charges of sexually assaulting and blackmailing our women. He has now approached Bombay High Court post. The session court had rejected his request for relief. Alan DeGeneres opens up about her childhood traumas in a recent talk show. Alan DeGeneres talked about some very personal and very horrifying things from her past during her recent interviews with David Letterman on his show on Netflix, My Guest Needs No Introduction. She opened up about a lot of matters in the interview as she talked about the ups and downs of her career and about her wife, Portia De Rossi. Ellen also revealed on his show that she had been sexually abused when she was a teenager and the accused was her stepfather. She told the cameras about her story and the reason for sharing it after all these years. 
Now that's all from our today's top stories. Subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Stay in touch with us to stay in touch with our world and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.